got him ski in the water. Got him ski in. Look at that. That's a nice trout. Rolling up and down the canals using our lead core line. I'll show you uh, the setup here. What we got here? A little white trout. That one will taste good tonight. So, what I'm doing is, you know, we talked about how we fish these jerk baits over grass beds and so on and so forth, but we also troll with these matrix minnows and some of our hard baits. And the reason we can get it down to the bottom is we have it on this lead core line. Now this is our setup right now. This is our matrix rod that we designed with Fitzgerald Fishing with a Fitzgerald reel. This is an eight to one gear ratio. But what I do is I put about 30 feet of lead core line on the reel. That way it'll get that lure down to the bottom and get on the white trout and speckled trout like this one right here. There we go, baby. There we go. Oh, speckled trouts. Started off the morning. Caught a few white trout trolling. It's our first trout so far. Got him on the pink champagne. I usually, when I'm trolling, I use a half ounce golden eye. This is obviously a bullseye jig head. That half ounce definitely gets it down to the bottom for sure, just in case the fish are dead on the bottom. I like one pole doing that. Then I like to tie something else on the other pole. The other pole right now, we're using a uh, matrix minnow with a lead core line. And um, that way, that one hovers up a little bit more. And that way you can cover more, you know, different columns at a water column there and see where these trout, speckled trout or white trout are hanging out. The, the white trout are definitely gonna be on the bottom. Sometimes the specks can be elevated a little bit and suspended. go when we troll in for in the mix of these speckled trout these canals a lot of times you'll bump across some nice white trout they love that pink champagne matrix shed just as much as the trout do this fish is pretty ice cold when i touch him it's a warm day today but we've been having some really cold uh weather days prior to this this fish when i to the touch he's ice cold and that's when that trolling is very effective all right so with the lead core here we're just gonna put it out. You can see that leg core coming off the spool there. We'll put the trolling motor on high to burn it off. Let that leg core go through all the eyelets. And then once I get to the mono, we'll let it go out about, just depending on the depth of the water. Let that go and then let that go out a few feet, then close it off. And then I slow the trolling motor down now that we got the poles out. And I want to keep the boat anywhere between 1.5 and 2.3, somewhere in there. Every day is a little different. Pay close attention when you start catching some on how fast you're going. Oh, we got one already. Got one already. So pay close attention on how fast you're going when you catch the first one or two and then stay on that. Stay exactly at that speed the rest of the day. Stay exactly at how much distance was let out on the reel there. And then I got him ski in the water. What do we got here? Come on in, come ski in. Look at that, that's a nice trout. Nice trout. And you can see how sluggish that fish was on the reel end. And that's pretty common for the dead of the winter. They don't give you much of a fight when you're catching them in these that's why they're in these deep canals. I know I'm wearing a t-shirt right now, but I'm telling you, it's been really cold. The water temperature's in the 50s, and they're just using these canals for warmth. So that was pretty much it in a nutshell there. Cast it out, let all you, not all your line, but a lot of your line out. That lead core line's gonna get that lure down to the bottom. Got him on the pink champagne. Attached to a half ounce uh, 
golden eye you can try different weights of your golden eye the other poles got the jerk bait on there the matrix minnow try different levels and you're gonna find these fish at a certain level and uh you can really get to whacking them nice spec got a little weight to it here this might be a really nice trout what are you baby what are you Striper? Look at that. Oh, striper. Look at the girth on that friggin' thing. This thing's been eating healthy. Look at that striped bass, baby. It's either a white bass or a hybrid striper. I, I get these confused. You can see his broken lines on there. That's not a real true striper that get long and 20, 30, 40 pounds. But nevertheless, a striper. I used to catch a lot of these in here as a kid. Cool fish, man. Strong fighting fish. I, I told you that thing was pulling. Let him go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is pulling a little bit. This is pulling back a little bit. Ooh. What do we got? Oh yeah. Look at that nice trout. Got one on here too. You got one too, boss. Set up. <laughs> okay, cameraman. While we're going, he gets one too. There we go. What we got here? A little bit smaller. That one hit the matrix minnow. But this other one's a decent fish. Let me get this one back in the water. A lot of white trout back here. Definitely a decent amount of specks. But when the white trout are running, when you're catching something like this, man, these and the specks, they taste the same fight the same they hit the same really enjoyable a lot of action back here having a really good day all right once you get your line out to the depth to the depth you want you know letting out enough line get your speed ready and your, your troll begins you can just simply drag it and then every once in a while i like to just give it some pops that really seems to get the fish's attention entice strikes give it a few pops another thing you can do like if you, especially if you're using the matrix minnow or sus, a suspended bait, you can just give it one good pull and then like kill it. So the lure is going to go whoop and then, and then it's going to just chill. You go boom and then chill. You see them really good trollers out there on the bridges and such throughout the year. And you'll see them. They're always moving that rod, you know. So you can just, if you want to be lazy and put the pole holders in the back of the boat and just let it drag. Oh, bite. You certainly can do that. But... As I'm talking to you guys, a cameraman handed me the pole, so we got one over here. You could certainly do that, as that's what the cameraman was doing. So he was just simply holding the pole there and helping film. So he was just dragging it, and a fish got on there. But I like to pop it a good bit, give that lure a little action. If you want to put the poles in the pole holder, you can certainly do that too. The Matrix, these products are Matrix. Golly, is that a fish on Felt like a bite there. These products are Matrix. They just do a great job of natural swimming motion. So they kind of, look at this. Got a fish trying to talk to you guys, and this other pole keeps getting hit. Let me let this guy go. Golly. <laughs> I mean, that lure couldn't, I mean, with the boat. Oh, did I miss him? Oh, there he is. Oh, the boat couldn't have been going very uh fast at all and then that was my point is these lures from matrix shed man they got so much action they kind of swim themselves where we try to make it as easy on the fishermen as we possibly can nice fish here guys nice fish here got some good tugging ability Making my puppy's ready to see it oh yeah there we go that's what we're looking for that's what we're looking for. Come on up in here, baby. Oh, watch it now, Simba. That's got treble hooks, buddy. Well, that's got treble hooks. My little puppy has caught one of these in the nose before. A little picture of it right there. It's definitely, but he didn't catch it when, you know, when I was flipping a fish in. He just happened to 
I had the poles on the ground and he just ran into it and caught him right in the nostril. But that's a story for another day. That one hit the matrix minnow, suspended, trolling it with the matrix rod. Fitzgerald, eight to one bait caster that we carry at matrixshed.com. Perfect setup for a lot of things. We even showing you how to put some lead core line on there, trolling deep wintertime canals, catching speckle trout with the pink champagne matrix and also the matrix minnow using a little piece of lead core line. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Docs High TV, catching beautiful trout right in our backyards, dead of the winter. Beautiful day out here. Make sure to subscribe to our monthly bait box as we're gonna be giving out these items we use today in the uh, bait box. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as we do all kinds of styles of fishing. You never know what we're gonna be doing. We try to show you a technique for all situations to catch these fish across the Gulf Coast. I hope this helped, guys. I hope you learned something. Until next time, good fishing.